fellow fashion sewers, in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to sew pleats. I'm Colleen Geely and this is Fashion Sewing Blog TV. This is a sewing project I'm working on at the moment and as you can see here is a kind of vent that's happening here and a pleat is a method of controlling fullness in this case along the waistline but it can be done in any other part of a garment. This is what a pleat looks like on a sewing pattern and as you can see we've got small circles there and there on the opposite side also and then we've got bigger circles in the centre of this rectangular shape and what you do pleats are when you actually fold the fabric onto itself so that is what's going to happen so you can match the small circles up with the big circles and do the same with the opposite side and I'll show you some on a scrap of fabric. I have my uh, small markings and my larger circles marked on and I've used a marker for this. Do not use a marker on your sewing project, okay? This is only for demonstration purposes. Use whatever method you prefer when it comes to transferring your markings. Right, the pleat. Now as I said, the pleat is a case of folding it onto itself to meet the larger circles and putting a pin there and getting the other end to meet up with the smaller circles and it's now centered and put a pin there so now you can see the pleats are there that's happening which can be kind of like a design feature and that's what it looks like on the wrong side. So the fullness is contained on the inside of the garment. So you've got this channel that's happening here. And then I'm going to go to my sewing machine, sew across the top, and then show you again. I've got the pleats. Now I'm going to sew it on my machine. And I'm going to sew from this point to that point. And you know to back to I won't do it in this case. And straight pull my pins out. I don't like to sew under my pins and I wouldn't recommend you do so either. Health and safety, you know. And then there we have it. Now what can happen is if you wanted a more creased line for your pleat, you can base along there and base along there and then press. But in this case, I just want a very soft kind of pleat. So therefore you wouldn't put a crease in it. Here we have the pleat on the lower end of a garment, which is the skirt section. And I have reduced the fullness um, for the waistline. So therefore the pleat has allowed it to be smaller and given me this beautiful shaping here. Now I've got a soft kind of pleat here. And what I mean by that is that I haven't creased it to give it a really sharp, kind of edge. I just want it to be a soft fold so I haven't pressed it so the only place I would actually press would be the top. I hope you found that tutorial helpful. If you do have any questions please do not hesitate to contact me. Before I go just let me just clarify um, the pleat. Now remember the pleat is a method of reducing fullness in a garment so therefore you've got the on the inside of the garment and it's your choice whether you want to have a sharp crease line to give it more definition or you want it to be softer then you don't press the pleat and um, I look forward to seeing you in my next video.